What is it about sprayer operators? Don't they like their beds? Out first thing in the morning, working late into the night, it's great to cover the acres. And we often get the comment, it's when the wind dies down that the spraying conditions are great. Only they're not. It's still, almost too still. We need some air movement to pull the droplets down onto the target. It's about air inversion and natural turbulence. Ah, here's some meteorological science. So, inversion conditions, typically found in the evening and in the morning. As the sun sets, the ground cools down and this creates a cool layer of air that's trapped underneath a warm layer of air. Nothing can move up and nothing can move down. It can only move sideways. However, as the ground temperature warms up through the course of the day, natural or normal conditions are restored and spray droplets can move down and that helps them hit the target. So how do you recognise inversion conditions? when wind movement suddenly drops and the air goes spookily still. Sound travels really clearly. <coughs> when you feel a chill around your feet, but the air around your head still feels really warm. When low mist or fog still hangs at ground level in the morning, especially over water. The neighbour's barbecue smells great from miles away. Sounds like typical early morning or late evening conditions. That's because it's the most frequent time for inversion issues to occur, just as you're about to make pre-emergence applications. So how do we avoid spraying in inversion conditions? We need to first be able to recognise the signs of inversion weather. Use nozzles that produce coarser droplets. Stop spraying if you start to see fine spray hanging in the air. And remember, go low, go slow, get covered.